afternoon everyone welcome back to Good with truth um, again we are continuing on the series called in conflict um, on Monday we started with the change or the shift or the perception or how we should perceive uh, a shift is coming and one of the ways in which we can do that is identify that there is a shift in the way in which communication is done um, or communication is between us and God uh, yesterday we would have talk, gone into a little bit of the conflict itself and there we would have seen that the conflict itself wasn't just one specific thing or event that occurred but it began so there was a season self of conflict culminating to this particular point here which is the birth of Samuel and the change of a season so today we're jumping into it and we're going to talk about the call today and we're going to go back into 1 Samuel chapter 3 and this time we're going to read from verses 3 and 4 and it says and ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was and Samuel was laid down to sleep that the Lord called Samuel and he answered here am I now it's very interesting there that it would have mentioned that air the lamp of God went out the air there means ere um, is basically a definition that would tells us that it was going to go out another um, a version of the Bible itself would say in flickering light that would mean I mean if some of you guys have an old kerosene lamp or one of those old wick lamps you find that either when the wick is really low or the kerosene in the lamp itself or the oil depending on what type of fuel you use when it gets pretty low the light itself doesn't bright or shine brightly like you know a nice solid flame but it begins to flicker you know that's where you begin to see the flickering itself the light and that's an identification that either because backing up a bit that um the lamp here it was referring to the menorah which is in the uh area where uh the ark of god was so there was a separation and there was an area which is, which is in the temple itself where the menorah itself would be and the priests themselves were actually the ones to keep the lamps burning because it says there in the book of leviticus where it says that the priestly tribe were the ones to actually keep the lamps burning and in flickering light there would mean that either one the oil was low or two the wick itself needed to be replaced and it's very interesting there that everything actually brings us um, to this particular point where verse one it firstly tells us that the word of the Lord was precious and there was no open vision. Note that. Second, it told us that the eyes of Eli had grown dim. And thirdly, it's this verse now we're seeing that the lamp itself is flickering, so light. So we're seeing that it's affecting or sight is being affected in each one of these three verses where we have referred to so far. And it tells us there that it's making the shift or when we see the shift in communication from using the eyes to using the ears. And that's very interesting also to note because it says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And that's when it even told us that in verse 1 it says that the word of the Lord was precious in those days. So the word of the Lord, the thing that we need to build our faith in times of, that's basically what we need, which is the word of God. So we're seeing a dimming itself of the eye, either by one, no open vision. So it was harder to see or harder to see in terms of where God is taking his people with an open vision. Then we're seeing that the eyes of the priest, the one who were leading the people itself there, spiritually speaking, his eyes itself has grown dim. And then thirdly, we're seeing now where the flickering of light. So the light itself is growing dim. Yes, we can take that from the perspective of physical light, but you're also seeing in this here where it could also mean the spiritual light of the people itself because we're looking at the lamp itself that's supposed to be in the temple of god that's supposed to shine light on the ark of the covenant is now flickering so it's getting to the point where it may go out at any time and that's when god calls samuel if we look around each and every way around us right now we see um, our country where in fact the world just came out of COVID and as soon as we came out of COVID things seemed like if it's beginning to normalize we in the Caribbean here would have gone through a period where adverse weather conditions was all around us and on top of that now we're having an influx or an increase in terms of the crime in the country 
and we're seeing there now where um, even with the closure itself of you know everything that has gone on businesses and everything too we're seeing that a lot of things are going dimmer and dimmer if we talk to people in the country here in Toronto, to make everybody saying you know has a bad report or a lot of people have a bad report about the country and saying that you know we're going downhill and downhill there's a representation of flickering light things not going the way in which people would like it to go it's not as bright it's not as good as it once was and it's also always good to note there that in those times you hear the voice Samuel Samuel so in conclusion for today's session let's look around you here you know not in terms of you know your physical space where you are currently but look around you what's going on in the world around us what's going on in your community what's going on in your country if it's getting darker <laughs> i guess there's only one thing we need to do listen i hope you guys enjoy this session and uh, we'll join in tomorrow again as we continue in this have a good one. Bye.